I think it was Sun Tzu who said, he who is lowest to the earth shall be exalted among the high. Crawling on the ground, you're just so close to the earth. My name is David Pinkerton, and I'm a worm. What you would call me is someone with species dysmorphia. Now, don't get that confused with other kin people, because those freaks love to parade around as wolves or dragons, stuff like that. That's not at all what I'm about. I know I'm a worm. A typical day for me, just like anybody else's really. I get up early in the morning, do my morning routine, work out, eat breakfast. I have so many friends on the internet. I run this Tumblr page where I educate people about my species dysmorphia. It's great. Everyone is so supportive over there. I just wish I could see them in real life sometimes. I find myself using my mouth a lot for daily activities, opening doors, um, making my morning coffee, writing. One of my most favorite hobbies is definitely calligraphy. It's just so calming to write beautiful words. I think I'm getting really good at it. <sighs> Where do I even begin about how much I love being a worm? It's, there's just something about crawling on the floor. You're down in the ground. You're just closer to the earth. I love wriggling around with my brothers and sisters in my pod. I mean, I guess you'd call it a tub, but I like to call it my playpen slash litter box slash shower. I love this place so much. I mean, some people think it's weird to roll around in your fecal matter, but I feel right at home. I try to adhere to a diet of what my kind eat. Compost, eggshells, coffee grounds, potato peels, you know, basically anything someone would throw out in a compost bin. I actually feel myself getting healthier. I feel livelier, like I have more energy. Honestly, a routine is key to staying in as good a shape I am. I've got some rock hard eggs underneath this, this suit. You'd be surprised how fit you get from climbing stairs without the use of legs. For most of my time here, yes, I'm alone. I don't receive help from anybody, but once a week, I do have a aid, if you will. Her name's Olga. She comes in and takes care of some of the things I can't just do oh. myself. Hey, Olga. Come on in. My duties are very specific. I buy him a weekly amount of groceries. I prepare him food for a week. I clean out his shit box. Sometimes I groom his face. He doesn't really like to use his arms very much. I try my best not to use the limbs that I have right now. I will admit sometimes I cheat and um, I'm not proud of myself for it. It's hard to say what exactly influenced me. I mean, would you call it influence if you were born this way? I don't think it was a choice. There was just a lot of confusion. Coming out to my father was just about one of the hardest things for me. I mean, he was a fisherman. How do you think that's supposed to make him feel when his son comes out to him as a worm? You know what he did? He laughed right in my face. He called it a phase. I needed to find who I was, why I felt the way I felt. 
It just all makes sense now. My words of wisdom to anybody out there, whether you're an aspiring worm or just any form of being, really, would be to just be who you want to be. We're living in a time where anything is possible. If you want to be a man, you can be a man. If you want to be a woman, be a woman. If you want to be a couch, be a couch. My name is David Pinkerton, and I'm a worm.